Welcome to the life of Babu. On a beautiful day in Dunedin, I randomly convinced Crystal that we should go and visit Larnet Castle. We are going to a castle. Are we paying here? Oh, good, good, good. So we pay here? Oh, yes. Oh wow, they have Halloween here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a Halloween ball. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that'd be cool. $35 to go see a castle, what do you reckon? Let's see. You excited? Um, <laughs> Beautiful grounds. Yep. Crystal was a bit apprehensive, but I'd heard about Larnet Castle since I was a kid and always been a bit intrigued. So I convinced her we should go. So today we're being a little bit classy for us and um, been sleeping in the van the last few nights, but today we're visiting a castle. Oh, thanks. A bloody castle. <laughs> We're actually wandering around the grounds at the moment. Trees galore, but that's under all of New Zealand, so we'll see if there's something special. What's that behind you? out of it up here. The views are for miles. Is that a queen's chair? Yep, that's a throne. Go run, run, run. You suit it. And the bee horns are tap enough. <laughs> Not law. <long>. At all. <laughs> Larnet Castle has been around a long time. In 1871, William Larnet built the castle on his 35 acres overlooking the Otago Peninsula. In 1898, after he passed away, it sold on to a few different people and was used for many different things, from being a mental hospital, to a nun's retreat, to a place where the US soldiers billeted during the war. Other times it, had, it was vacant and was vandalized and had parts stolen. The gardens overgrew and in 1967, the Barker family purchased it. Margaret Barker in particular took on the gardens and made them the internationally significant gardens that you see now. There is an Alice in Wonderland theme running throughout the gardens, but there are also creepy remnants around as well.
So this is the castle. Apparently he bought it for one of his wives. For his wife? Yeah. And the dude, he ended up having three wives. And um, he shot himself in the head. Three wives would do that to you, I think. So we're about to do the tour. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? Let's go. What are you doing? Crystal? Hi! Hey, come on up. We're on the top of the castle. Top of the castle. Top of New Zealand's castle. This is the view from the top of the Lamont Castle in Dunedin. Fairly magnificent. It's four stories up, I think. Four or three? Ah, uh, there's three, then the tiny staircase up after this. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. It's four. You can see most of the Otago Peninsula edges around here. Barely with my size shoes more than my size gut. <laughs> it's, um, the steps are quite tiny. Tell you one thing, Mr. Larnick was in a size 15 shoe, I tell you. <laughs> How do you think about the castle? Okay, I'm glad we came. Um, it's, it's different to the normal stuff I like, but it's pretty cool. Especially with this clown over here. What? What? What have Just, I done? Well, I'm going to rein you in so you're not playing pianos that say don't play piano. I, I played the one. Things that say don't touch. <laughs> what? Does this say... door open? Does this door open? Does this door open? This keep out door, I'll go in there. No, Crystal, no. I played the one. The piano, they didn't say don't touch. I didn't touch the one they say don't touch.
The drive out to Larnet Castle itself is quite exquisite and unique. And once you're up there, the views are incredible. Unmatched, really. The grounds are romantic, and the castle itself is steeped in history. It is New Zealand's castle. If you want to go there for the romance, or for the history, or to just be goofs like me and Crystal, it's a good day out. It's not too expensive, but it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it.